It's meal prep time. Hi friends. We are doing a meal prep for work video for you. If you do anything in a weight loss journey, meal prep is like one of the ones at the very top. It's how Kyle and I have stayed on track. For those of you that are new to our channel, welcome. We have both lost 130 pounds, so that's 130 pounds each, each, and we've kept it off for this is going to be our sixth year. And people always ask us, is there, what's the secret to your massive weight loss? Well, there isn't any secrets, but if you absolutely need one, it's preparation. Yeah, it's be prepared. And always having your food and water on hand or ready to go is one of the biggest tips and best piece of knowledge that you will ever be given. Because if you have that ready, there is no excuse. If you don't have food or water ready and at hand, you're more likely to grab fast food or eat way more than you planned on. Especially you know? at work when your mind is being taxed, your body is being used. You're hungry. You don't want to stop and think, okay, what can I grab quickly? Well, there isn't anything that you can grab quickly that's going to benefit your journey. Or you're having, there's a work celebration, but it's you didn't plan on that. Oh, guess what? I have my meal planned. I'll just eat that. Thank you. You know, and so you're more likely to stay on track with your weight loss journey if you have your stuff prepped. So we're going to show you how I prep for three days of work. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So first prepping my water. Now, pe most people are like, oh, that's silly. I'll just drink water whenever. I like to make sure that I know how much water I get a day and I like to take in a lot. And that helps with hydration. It helps with fat loss. It helps with the workouts that we do. So having water is very important and it's so easy. Every morning it's already filled. It's ready to go. I just take it out of the fridge and bring it to work. And I know when I come home, this bottle needs to be empty. It's a perfect way to gauge how much water you're drinking too. So this is my work day's worth of water. I drink one of these in the morning and then one of these in a workout. This is a 2.2 liter bottle or eight eight ounce glasses. So you drink 16 glasses a day. Then. Yes, I do. And what I do right now we're cutting. So I use branch chain amino acids or BCAAs for short. I usually only do them in a workout, but when, when we're cutting, I do BCAAs twice a day. And we're not sponsored by um, anybody. These we are not sponsored by, but we really enjoy these brands. So the ones I'm going to be using today are Allmax Amino Core and Revolution. So the um, I have three different flavors, different one each day. I use a funnel and <laughs> These brands, we really enjoy them and we really like the flavors. However, one scoop is a bit weak for four bottles of water. So I put two scoops in each jug. So this one is white grape, if anybody is curious. And then I just shake it up. One ready. Okay, there you go, three days worth of water, prepped and ready to go. You just need some containers and a little bit of fridge room. Container box. Makes it easier for organization. So, next, we're doing Greek yogurt for morning snack. Got my three containers, got all my measuring cups and spoons, and we're ready to get on a mission. And why you need your morning snack is because you eat your first meals at home, right? Then. Well, my first meal is eggs and then yogurt is my second meal. I actually get really hungry and the way that I have to space my meals out for my work day, I actually eat my morning snack before I get to work. But again, 
I like to dawdle in the morning. So I have this ready to go and I generally pack it in my lunch bag or beside it so that I can choose to either eat it you know, at work or I can choose to eat it before. But the most important point is that it's in a to-go container and it is ready to go in the morning. So I don't have to prep it. Okay, what you need, fat-free Greek yogurt, plain. Open in a brand new container for y'all. <laughs> y'all, I got American there. For yeah, we have so many American subscribers that we're starting to say y'all. Y'all, got yogurt y'all. Rubbing off on us. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to scoop a half cup of yogurt into each container. We love the uh, the Greek yogurt because of the protein content, and we always try to get the fat free and the plain because we don't want the extra fat or sugar. We just kind of want the protein. Um, so there's the macros on it. It's only four grams of sugar, 19 protein for three quarters of a cup. So that's pretty darn good. Okay, so next I got the almond butter that I'm gonna put into it. And this one is from Walmart. It is our finest smooth almond butter. And I do a tablespoon for each container. And when it gets a little bit empty, you save that for peanut butter day. That yeah. Means, <laughs> that means you get, at the end of the jar, Kyle and I always say, have a party, and you get a little extra almond butter or peanut butter that so day. So peanut butter or almond butter day, you must share with your wife or your husband. Yep. Don't forget that very important part. And I already, <laughs> I already had a backup jar ready to go so we could save peanut butter day. Yeah, when there's not enough for a full tablespoon, it's peanut butter day. You got it. Or almond butter day. One of the butter days. <laughs> butter day is a fancy day for us. It's a celebration in the middle of the week if you're dieting or clean eating. And always, you have to look this. It's a must. And it. Mm. Making a fancy yogurt, are you? Yeah. Cocoa powder, Un unsweetened. Unsweetened. One teaspoon. This is going to be chocolate, chocolatey and nutty yogurt, the friends. There you go. Put your cocoa in. Then we got stevia and quarter teaspoon going in the jar. There you go, my friends. Now, you gotta stir them all up, get them ready for the berries. So that's what it looks like all mixed up. Like this too. <laughs> now, you get your berries. These are the great value four berry blend and half a cup in each container. You'd be surprised at how much of a, a nice treat it is to vary up. Now, normally we won't put the cocoa or the sweetener in, but it's such a nice change when you're dieting to have that variety once in a while. Yeah, you can change it up. Like sometimes I eat it just plain with the almond butter. Sometimes I put vanilla in it. Sometimes cocoa powder. Have fun with it. When you're eating clean, you gotta have fun. You gotta have flavor. So especially when you're eating like like Kyle and I do the same things pretty much every day. Changing up the way you make the same thing makes it like a full different experience for you. Now, who wouldn't look forward to that? I would. Oh, it's like a treat, doesn't it? Well, it is. Some of the last steps we got here. So, first I'll show you the carrots. Now this is some of the easiest things to do is you buy the pre-washed bags of baby carrots. 
I just rinse them, dump them in a container with water, and it keeps for about one to two weeks, and then you just pull from it as you need it. So I have pulled enough carrots for three days, and I've dried them off. I and like, you can do any veggies in water, and it just helps them last a lot longer. We've done, uh, we also sometimes do celery in water as well, and it prolongs the celery. Now, um, I want to show you these containers. I got these from Walmart. They are Rubbermaid. I love them because they hold a can of tuna and they have an insert and so it makes it like so perfect. I just need a small lunch pail because I just put my carrots in the lid, the insert part. We put about six carrots for each day and so now the carrots are ready. Now this is chunk light tuna from Cloverleaf and this is the skipjack in water. We drain a can and put a can in each container. And we often get a lot of like, why tuna? Is there something else I can substitute? And why tuna is because it is the best lean, high protein food in a can and cheap. Widely available, already cooked for you. Just open the can, drain it. That's it, done. Tons of protein, lean, it's the best thing, especially if you're on a budget, and I'm sure a lot of people are, like us, it's perfect. So, and you can buy it in bulk. I'm going to now put some mayo in there using half the fat Hellman's, and I'm gonna put a tablespoon in each container. Another reason we like tuna is it comes in a perfect portion, which saves time. It's already ready. It's 30 grams of protein. We know the calories. We know the protein in that can. It's always the same. And there's no having yeah, to weigh it or measure it out because it's already done. Then to the mayo, I'm going to add some mustard. This is just great value mustard. And you can put as much of, as you want of this because there's no calories. Squeeze it in, then mix her up. And now it's all mixed. That's what it looks like when it's done. Then you slink your carrots in the top. Oops, that was not perfect. Okay, slink them in, slink them in, zip it up, buttercup. Oh, perfect lunch, perfect lunch. Look at that, look at this. Now, lunch pails. So, I don't have three lunch pails, I only have two, so I use a bag for my third one. Three forks, one fork goes in every bag, and insert your lunch. I got these uh, lunch pails, one at Walmart and one online um, from a shoe store called Globo, if anybody is wondering. So for the two bags, the bag here, I'll just fold up this one, I'll zip up, but to the flour one, I'm actually going to add some carbs because like I said, we're cutting right now. so. We are having carbs some days and lower carb on other days. So no carbs for the two lunches over there, but for this lunch bag, bag, pail, I was trying to say bag and pail at the same time. I'm going to add a slice of bread. So this is Dempster's Ancient Grains Quinoa Bread. And it's very good macros, fiber, and protein. And so I just add one slice and I'm going to put it in some plastic wrap and add that to my bag. Yeah, we do a little thing when we're trying to cut, a little thing that the internet likes to call carb cycling. So yes. that's why some days carbs, some days not. Yep. And this bread is frozen so it'll thaw to for tomorrow or um, which is when I'm going to eat that one. and. What I do is I eat most of the tuna by itself and then I save some and I put it in the bread and I make a sandwich. And that's the lunch. 
You always gotta have a little, this is a tip for the friends. Mini deodorant and a hand cream in your lunch. In case you get extra hungry. And a chopstick. <laughs> for dessert. There you got it, baby muffins. Water, She's all ready. lunch, pails, and morning snack prep too. Yep, and that's it. Free lunches for free days. Now the reason we don't prep the other meals is one, we'll be home for them, but secondly, they're like eggs in the morning or, um, yeah. And yeah, we, and we do have dinner meal preps, uh, but we do those separate. Yeah, this is for work. Yes. Oh, and the reason why I pr we prep two to three meal like days at a time is because if you prep a full week in advance and it's something that you can't freeze, like I wouldn't freeze tuna, tuna it will go a, bad. It gets a little ripe. Yes. Any meals, like even our dinner meals, that kind of stuff, we only have three days worth of meals in the fridge because it will go bad and then you're stuck eating rancid food, which happened to us and it's gross. So yeah. Okay, so the friends, we hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything that you take away from us and it's just one thing, meal prep. Prep everything and you will succeed. Especially important when you're away from home because yes. you're stuck then if you don't have your food. Then there's no excuse. Your coworker Barbie's having a birthday cake and a pizza for lunch. You say, hey, sorry bud, got my lunch. <laughs> I'm sticking to my plan, Stan. Oh, you brought some pop in for lunch? Oh, I got my water. Sorry, bud. And it's tasty because it's got BCAs in it. Yeah, stick to my old prep. Thank you. Okay. Okay, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because. Because what? You're gonna get. Peanut butter day of doom. Cause it's only butter, not peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye friends. Bye. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it friends. It has 40 family friendly recipes. Not only is there a two week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there. 